Hi everyone, um, my name is Sanzo and today I'm here with supply chains. We're looking to streamline the medicine supply chain from pharma to patients. So let me tell you a story about little Timmy. He's five years old, he's really unwell, and he presents to an ED where I'm working, and he's got scarlet fever. We thought we banished that in the 1950s. He's really sick, so I decide he needs antibiotics, and it should be a straightforward story. Instead, we find out that the antibiotics, unbeknownst to me, are not available in their local pharmacy. And guess what? When his parents go to the pharmacy, they check and they're not available in other local pharmacies or indeed in their wholesale. We try and phone those wholesalers, we try and phone the manufacturers, and nobody has those antibiotics. So little Timmy, who happens to be a robot, is there, is unwell, and guess what? He ends up in hospital admitted with sepsis. That poor patient journey over there, that poor outcome is mirrored across the NHS. Brexit, COVID, global supply issues have been issues to do with antibiotic usage and supply, but also for diabetes, schizophrenia. And that's costing the NHS hundreds of millions of pounds in medicine wastage, but also supply there as well. And you can categorize those problems in communication issues over there, but also to do with supply chain issues and poor patient journeys as well. Having looked at the existing supply chain, we decided to create um, supply chain. By streamlining the supply chain process, we're able to reduce waste, create the and through features and advantages over existing solutions, as we can provide real-time data to every single stakeholder in the supply chain and help clinicians and help clinicians make faster, more informed decisions. So let's go through our platform here. Um, Timmy's uh, prescriber can log in and use this search function and the location. In this case, they will search for um, amoxicillin. Yeah. Um, and in the example table, you can see there is, I think it's too quick. In the example um, table, you were um, you are seeing there was a lot of uh, availability of the antibiotics. However, real time updates can show you if there is no availability um, for this antibiotic. Uh, like this. Um, now, if Timmy needs alternative antibiotics, um, you can use uh, you can use the search function to see availability of this um, penicillin V at uh, Timmy's nearby pharmacy. So, if you like to hear, it's a chatbot. So we can see if there's any alternative. Yeah. By implementing supply change. We're able to make sure that Timmy doesn't go to hospital and he can receive an alternate antibiotic. Three minutes to run. Thank you. So that you leave up your slide with the future plans so people can see it. Thank you. Yeah, just a quick question. Do you have any sense of how many patients are either readmitted to hospital or represent A and E because the Yeah, it's a really good question. So we looked at two papers. One was in Nuffield and one was in a pharmaceutical journal. Unfortunately, they were able to map a lot of the patient pathways. And part of the issue with that was they were going to different pharmacies, different healthcare providers. So they weren't having a streamlined journey there anyway. And I suppose that's part of our solution. What we want to do is to make sure there's one provider. And if not, we can direct them where to go. We do have some of the financial figures which show there's hundreds of millions of pounds of waste in medicines, in supply, but also money that could be diverted elsewhere in the NHS. Anecdotally, I'd say in my practice in paediatrics during the scarlet fever endemic and at the height of it, I saw multiple cases where patients were coming in, potentially who don't have access to medicines, pharmacies, or English, not as their first language, who are disproportionately affected. Thank you. Any other So the question is, what's the benefit for pharmaceutical companies to sign up because it's not so good if you see that there's no stock for them? I guess by, rather than pharmaceutical companies, you also mean wholesalers and individual pharmacies? Yep, So, um, quite interestingly enough, the reason why I wanted to address this particular problem statement was actually because of the startup I'm currently in. Uh, has attracted interest from two major pharmaceutical companies. Two key things that they've been highlighted was keeping track of everything in the supply chain. 
because one of the issues that they seem to encounter is complaints from pharmacies, hospitals and GP practices that, know, that they're unable to get medications from the wholesalers. So what we propose is we create a platform which you can tailor different bits of information to different parts of the supply chain. So from a manufacturer perspective, they would want to know is there any issues with our suppliers, which means that we cannot um, manufacture our products, are there any issues with our plants, are there any logistical issues from our side or from the wholesaler side, which means that the medicines can't be distributed to healthcare professionals. The only other thing I was going to ask for that is we're not asking for their price stock list. We're not asking them to give numbers. We're giving that right rate to red, amber, green. And many, some wholesalers may give this information already. So, you know, two of the biggest wholesalers actually provide some of this information to pharmacies. So we're just streamlining this process to optimize efficiency to better patient outcomes. Thank you very much. And I think, unless we've got 20 seconds for questions. Well done. That's fantastic.